hello friends welcome back to my channel so now i'm gonna configure both jenkins and sonar cube together to perform a code analysis of our node.js app now to do that first i'll go to jenkins manage jenkins logins available and search for sonar scanner i will install these two it's installed now because I'm running containers for the Jenkins and Sonar web pages, instead of doing a refresh or restart on the on the browser by clicking here to restart it, I would rather restart the Jenkins server. That should refresh it to ensure that the whole installation is is good. So it looks good now. All right, now let's go back to the Sonar Cube page and under projects, go to manually. Let's give it a name Node app. That's a project's name. And the branch, you know, our branch is main. Setup. Okay. Let's go with locally. Now, this is going to be the name of the token. So I will Modify this a bit. Let's call it node app token. Leave it at 30 days. Hit generate. So this is gonna be my token. Now you won't see it again if you refresh it. So you have to copy it and save it somewhere safe. Continue. Now let's go back to the Jenkins. Manage Jenkins. Go to credentials, global, and add credential. Now for this, you're gonna use secret text using the token. Paste the token here. And the ID, we can call it node token create. So our credential is created. Go back to manage Jenkins. Go to systems. Scroll down to where you see Sonar Cube service. You need to check this on the environment variables. The name of the server, I will leave it as Sonar Cube. This is the address of our Sonar Cube server using the IP address and port 9000. And then for authentication, I just put in the node token. So select this, apply and save. Let's go back to our application configure. We are not setting any triggers for now. We're going to discard old builds. Apply and save. Go to the dashboard, go to tools. This is our Sonar Cube scanner. Go to pipeline syntax. From dashboard, the projects and the configuration. The sonar. Authentication, you put in a node token. Now this will throw up this error, even though it's correct, so you can ignore it. Generate. Now we are going to copy this. And back in our Jenkins file, I'll create another stage. Call it Sonar Cube Analysis. And inside of it, I'll create steps. 
All right, so the command that I've copied right here, I'll paste it in here. Now I'll paste a shell command here for the sonar cube properties. Now these are actually properties from sonar cube. So I'll go up under tools. Now define environment variables. From the variables below, we know we need environment variables, including sonar project underscore key. We need sonar, sonar underscore scanner. Let's go home. Then we need sonar underscore token. But one thing is you can specify the token here, but it's not advisable. Security wise, it's best to specify the token inside of the sonar cube environment. Okay. So instead of that, I'd rather come down here to the sonar cube environment. And I'll define a string for credential ID to be no token um, and the variable to be sonar underscore token. Close the list, then close the environment. So with that, I can just remove this environment variable, the last one. So I only need to specify the project key and the scanner to not keep scanner home. Now, if you go back to dashboard, many Jenkins tools, we defined our sonar keep scanner and we called it sonar keep scanner. So I'll copy that. Then in our pipeline, a sonar keep scanner home will have a tool known as sonar keep scanner. Now for the product key, we go back to the sonar cube. We created a project. And the project name and the key was the same as the title there. So copy that. Then paste it in here. Next, we need to specify the hosts, the URL for Sonar Cube. You can also use the IP address and the port number. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it in here. Okay. I will save and quit. I will add this to our GitHub. Git push, type quant capital C, the password is, okay. Now when I go to the GitHub, Jenkins file, so this is updated Jenkins file. Let's try our build job again and see. Go to the dashboard, it's our project, build now. So that was a failure. Let's look at the console output. Seems that it's the last stage that is failing. So now keep step. Okay. Let's go back to our dashboard, to our project. Configure. Pipeline syntax. Let's go to with credentials right here. And I'm going to add a secret text. 
in the variable name we'll call it sona underscore token with this credential node token generate so i'll copy this back in my pipeline or in my jenkins file instead of putting the credentials inside the sona cube environment i'm creating a credentials environment which will be different from the sonar cube environment like this and so with that i can remove this content that is sonar cube environment all right now when i remove it what am i going to put in there and that's the name of the installation that i used okay so for that, let's go to dashboard, manage Jenkins system. This is our installation, and the name I used is Sonar Cube. So I'll copy Sonar Cube and paste it in there. And then for the credentials, I'll embed the Sonar Cube environment inside of the credentials block so i will indent it a little bit All right so i need one more carry braces looks good let's save this and commit the changes to our github Let's refresh this. This is good. Save and apply. Let's go up to our project. Try the build again. Okay. So you can see that now it's successful. You can check the console. output okay so it's successful now let's go back to our sonar cube now you can see that we are already under our project so you see results here zero bugs zero vulnerability one security hotspot and just like that you have an overview of all issues as far as security bugs and stuff like that are concerned now that we figured the sonar cube out, let's add a quality gate. This will be another stage. And here we will define our quality gate. Define the steps. Now for the quality gates, let's go back to our Jenkins. So a pipeline so you see that it's a success and it's passed the sonar cube quality gates okay so it looks like the plugin currently has quality gate directly um integrated in it so it produces these results as far as quality gate is concerned so i go to configure this pipeline pipeline syntax i'm gonna use a put a quality gate of timeout on our pipeline okay this will ensure that if anything happens and it's waiting for too long quality gate will abort the process okay select minutes just put in one minute generate pipeline So in our code, is this. By the way, our time, the unit is in minutes. So I can add unit, minute. By the way, if you see here, you see it's in capitals. I'll put a quality gate, check on it. 
wait for quality gate yep this is our token generate pipeline you can copy this and in here you can paste the command so about pipeline i'll make it true if the one minute passes save this then push it to github password if i refresh this this is how a jenkins file looks now and that's our quality gate okay so let's go ahead and build the pipeline one more time build now for the 13th time okay so our build is successful So it goes all the way through to the end. So I'll build this successful. Let's go to our Sonar Cube server project. This is our project. Click on it and you can see it's passed. All right. So that is how you would configure an integration between Jenkins and Sonar Cube. Thank you for joining me on this video. Now see you on the next one.